Welcome to PBT Express News News Channel. Subscribe to the channel and don't miss the hottest news of the day. Our today's newsletter includes the following content. Tan Song Yoon announces big news with her boyfriend, the day of getting married is not far away. Tan Song Yoon and her boyfriend announced big news that made people restless. Tan Song Yoon is one of the most valuable female stars in Kbiz. Thanks to her beauty that belies her real age and her good acting, she can easily create chemistry with her co-stars even though they are younger. Recently, the success of M. Dep Han on Saw in collaboration with Hua Kai is the clearest proof. Right after the success of M. Dep Han on Saw, Tan Song Yoon recently received great news. Accordingly, the historical drama project Tu Kam Nan Jia starring Tan Song Yoon and Trin Ang Yip Tan has obtained a broadcasting license. The film will be shown with 40 episodes on the Yuku platform. Tu Kam Nan Jia obtains a broadcasting license. In Tu Kam Nan Jia, Tan Song Yoon continues to cooperate with her younger co-star Trin Ang Yip Tan. However, behind-the-scenes photos reveal that the two are extremely beautiful. Tan Song Yoon is praised for her beauty and cuteness in Tang Dynasty style. Meanwhile, Zhang Yecheng is handsome and majestic when wearing ancient costumes. Known as the Raiding Queen of Kbiz, Tan Song Yoon's film projects always receive great attention. Therefore, the audience believes that Xu Jin Rinja will also have good results when it airs. Besides, there are also opinions expressing that Zhang Yecheng can rely on the collaboration with Tan Song Yoon to rise up. Can Tan Song Yoon help Zhang Yeqing soar? Xu Jin Rinjia is adapted from the novel of the same name by author Trang Trang. Besides Tan Song Yoon and Zhang Yecheng, the film also has the participation of Kin Siu, Truong Hao Duwei, Tran Tu Van. The audience is eagerly waiting for Tan Song Yoon's next ancient costume project after Kam Tam Tua Nat co starring with Chung Han Luong. You are more beautiful than the stars, Tan Song Yoon's sweet romance with Su Kai was well received. The new costume drama with Zhang Yeqing was blocked in the broadcast due to this reason. The new drama You Are More Beautiful Than the Starlight performed by mainland opera goddess Tan Song Yoon and Su Kai has achieved high ratings, pictured on the left, and the new costume drama Sichuan Brocade Family starring her and Hello Ching Zhang Yeqing is also highly anticipated, pictured on the right, but it was revealed that the show would not be broadcast in the short term. The new drama You Are More Beautiful Than the Starlight performed by mainland opera goddess Tan Song Yoon and Su Kai has achieved high ratings, pictured on the left, and the new costume drama Sichuan Brocade Family starring her and Hello Ching Zhang Yeqing is also highly anticipated, pictured on the right, but it was revealed that the show would not be broadcast in the short term. Mainland opera goddess Tan Song Yoon has accumulated many hit dramas in the past, including The Wayback starring Jing Baran, Under the Brocade starring Rin Jialowen, Walking to the Wind with Wang Kai, and Lin Gengxin The Collaborations Please Call Me Director. Tan Song Yoon's recent new drama You Are More Beautiful Than Starlight starring Su Kai has been a hit, and has received good ratings and reputation. Netizens are even more looking forward to her new costume drama Sichuan Brocade with Zhang Yeqing but with the eldest daughter who was filmed at the same time, compared with the main entrepreneurial drama genres, including Yang Zi's The Beauty of the Country and Zhao Lucy's Pearl Curtain and Jade Curtain, Sichuan Brocade family appears to be much more low-key. It has received little publicity in the more than half a year of filming. Recently, it was revealed that one of its productions the company ran away, causing delays in the show's broadcast. Tan Son Yun recently aired the finale of You Are More Beautiful Than Starlight. Although the audience disliked the plot being changed to the old routine of the domineering president falls in love with you and Tan Song Yun's appearance was a bit old-fashioned, her acting relationship with Su Kai was unexpectedly strong. It has also been recognized and has been ranked among the top three most popular mainland dramas since its broadcast. Although it is not a big hit, its ratings and reputation are very good. Recently, there have been a lot of Chinese dramas that feature female protagonists in entrepreneurship and business, including Pearl Curtain by Zhao Lucy and Lu Yuning, and National Beauty by Yang Zi and Li Xian, and they happen to be set in the Tang Dynasty. However, compared to the active hype of the other two dramas, Sichuan Brocade is very low-key. From the launch in September 2023 to the completion of filming in January this year, the crew's official Weibo did not release any news, nor did they disclose the lineup, not even the stills. No, there are only a few behind the scenes leaked on the internet. It can be said that it was filmed silently from beginning to end, which is very mysterious. 
Shu Brocade Family stars Tan Song Yun, Zheng Yecheng, Chen Xiaojun, Jing Chao, and others. It is adapted from Zhuang Zhuang's novel Shu Brocade Family Prideful Flower Scroll. It tells the story of Ji Ying Ying, played by Tan Song Yun, who is obsessed with dyeing silk, and Ji Ying Ying, played by Tan Song Yun, the son of the Jin Wang family. Yan Jinglan, played by Zhang Yecheng, worked together to compose a story of shoe brocade. Perhaps because netizens and fans have been clamoring for it, Sichuan Brocade was not officially announced until February, but only a final episode and a few stills were revealed, and no other news was released. Compared with Xiaoyao, a collaboration between Tan Song Yun and Ho Mingho, who recently became popular with Young White Horse Drunk in the Spring Breeze, which was officially announced as soon as filming started, Sichuan Brocade is really very low key. Recently, there are rumors in the mainland drama circle that Shoe Brocade was originally Yuku's key costume drama in 2024 and was expected to be broadcast this summer. However, Shoe Brocade initially had three co production companies. Later, it was reported that the warm up was not ideal, among which the two production companies actually ran away directly. It is reported that Yuku has found a production company, and the other one is still actively negotiating. If the negotiations do not go smoothly, I am afraid that it will not be able to catch up with this year's summer prime time, which will accidentally cast a shadow on the broadcast of this drama. What do you think about this? This concludes our news section. Welcome to leave your thoughts in the comments area. Let's discuss it together. Welcome. Don't forget to give me a like and follow. Thank for all.